so it's to the fun part, the skinning. So if I was going to skin the fish, how would I go about doing that, Steve? Okay, well, as I said before, with the filleting knife, you good knife. This knife I have is a boning and, and skinning knife. Um, it's obviously a long bladed knife. It's obviously, you want to keep it sharp. So the same thing again, you use your steel and just an up and down motion. Just to keep the edge on the knife, keep it nice and sharp. Just a few times. And obviously the length of the knife and the flexibility gives you yeah. a better angle to be able to get that skin off. Yes, with a, with a boning knife and filling knife, you do need a bit of flexibility. Hmm. Just to yeah, just to get that, that get skin, the skin off, off. Yeah. and also it covers the whole width of the fish yeah. fillet yeah. at the if same you, time. Yeah, you'd probably struggle using a knife like yeah. that. But um, if you were on board your boat, no. you would use whatever knife you, you use could get. Whatever you've got on board, yeah, of course you. Yeah, yes. that's right. Okay. Um, yeah, this is this is how we skin the fish. Uh, knife on an angle. Hold the tail with the other hand like so. Is this one of these things where you have to hold your tongue right? <laughs> yeah, you could say that, yeah. That's right. Okay, knife in till you just part the skin with the, the fish and gently pull back with this hand and gently go in a zigzag motion with the other hand, the knife, and that's what you should end up that with. That makes it look so easy. <laughs> but I noticed something that the viewers probably couldn't see from is you actually had quite a bit of pressure pulling on that skin at the same time. Yeah, so you you're pushing to... the knife through and dragging at the same time. Yeah, you do need to keep Do you want to maybe on? show that to yeah, us we'll again? Do it again? Yeah, 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 we'll do it again. Okay. So same thing again. Yep. Little fish. Lay it in. So the pulling and pushing. Yep, pulling and pushing. Pull quite hard with this one. And the zigzag motion with the other one, the knife. Voila. And it's easy as that. And yeah, there we go. Now we trim the fillet so that it looks presented well uh, for purchase in the shop, but obviously all those little bits you could keep and put that into your fish stock and your fish sauce. Great, yeah, lovely. Yeah, I love the colour of the saddle tail. Yeah, it's a nice fish. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's a nice fish. Well, yeah. thank you, Steve. You made okay, that look really that's easy. That's all right. It's good. Thank you. Thank you. We'll see you again. Hello, I'm Patrick Quirk from Maritime Safety Queensland. I've been asked to give a few additional tips about boating safety, and uh, this time it's about life jackets. Uh, life jackets are one of the great life uh, preserver elements of our safety equipment suite. Uh, all vessels are required to carry life jackets, uh, limited exceptions. You need to go to the MSQ website or the tide tables to find out your vessel, your operating area, what sort of life jacket you require in your area and what sort of operations. But life jackets are only life preservers when they're being worn or when they're close by an emergency. Being locked away in a locker in the middle of the night in adverse weather is not the place for your life jackets. Generally, uh, for coastal bars, uh, open boats under 4.8 metres, uh, we require life jackets to be worn by all people on board. The vessel is a general rule. Uh, in other rules, uh, kids under 12 years of age, importantly, are required to carry life jackets when the vessel's underway. Uh, you can buy kids life jackets from the local ship channeler, your local boat shop. It's important that you actually get the children to try them on, to make sure they fit, make sure they're comfortable, and importantly, that the children can put them on by themselves in the dark. It doesn't take long to practice, but it's security of mind. For kids under 12 months, uh, you need to actually look very carefully at how you're going to, to care for those children. Uh, there are life jackets available, specialised life jackets for infants, but we recommend that the kids under 12 months always be held by the parent or a responsible person on the boat. For, for adults, there are a number of life jackets that are available on the market. The life jacket you will carry on your boat is a function of your boat some of the boat size and where you want to operate. For the general recreational boat in public, you can buy a Type 1, Type 2 or Type 3 life jacket. Uh, and those, once again, you need to go back into the MSQ website 
or into the tide tables or other, other boating guides to work out exactly what you need. Uh, for instance, uh, water skiers need a particular type of uh, life jacket, so do PwC operators. That's all pretty clear uh, on the website or in, in, the, in the books. There are other types of life jackets you can get and more boats are going further and further offshore recreational boats. And we recommend if you're going a long way offshore for overnight trips or a couple of days away, there are coastal life jackets and what they call solace life jackets, which, which meet international standards. Um, you, need to have, you need to sort of exercise your duty of care and importantly, you need to put yourself in a position that at half past two in the morning, when you're 20 miles off Morton Island and the weather comes up, you want to be in a life jacket that you're comfortable with. It's not, it's not the time then to start wondering or wishing you'd bought a different sort of life jacket. It's an important issue.